John, you might have heard Alan Trammell and the Tigers are struggling. Earlier this season, two Tigers commented on being the league's laughing stock. Hmm. <laughs> no one enjoys uh, going out there and being uh, everyone's whipping boy, you know, and, and that's the way it's been so far. Anybody can kick a horse while they're down, you know, and from that aspect, you know, that's embarrassing. But at the same time, we got to go out there and play. And they would come to play on this night against the Blue Jays. Matt Roney gets Carlos Delgado looking. Delgado went 0 for 3. Bottom five. Tigers at a 3 0 lead. Alex Sanchez bumped down the first baseline. There's some Tiger hustle. Beats Delgado's tag. It's a hit. Top seven. Roney still in. Gets him swinging. Roney's first career major league victory. Tigers win consecutive home games. First time since last August. Before Stan gets Tiger, I get the Tigers. That's really fair. Former Tiger Hank Greenberg holds the record most RBIs before the All-Star break, 103. Toronto's Carlos Delgado came in with 89. That's his 27th home run of the year off Adam Bernero. And it's 2-0 Blue Jays. Top of the fifth. Steve Sparks to Delgado. He's going the other way. He gets out of town and he means it. Second over of the game, 28th of the season. With the two RBIs in the game, Delgado moves into a tie for fourth with Harmon Killebrew with 91 RBIs before the break. Now 12 behind Greenberg for the all-time record. Bottom of the seventh, 8-2 Jays. Roy Halladay to Warren Morris with two on and two out. Halladay, his major league leading 12th win. Jason Johnson's favorite color is probably not blue, at least not in Blue Jay. 0-7, 7.34 ERA in his 12 starts against them. Top second, Blue Jays are one nothing. Shannon Stewart base hit. Josh Phelps scores. Orlando Hudson going to test Melvin Moore. Not a good idea. We got a top 10 plays nominee. Great block of the plate by Brooke Fordyce there as well. Top third, still 2 0 Blue Jays. Vernon Wells in the center. Luis Matos stretching to get it. Another top 10 plays nominee. Matos is eye on the ball the whole way. And he makes the grab. Top seven Orioles up 6 2. Johnson says, Give me that. Rob Frank Catalanato. Johnson, seven innings of work, four earned runs, five Ks. Orioles take it 6 5. Bottom eight. Orioles down 5 0. Two on, two outs. Jeff Conant singling up the middle off Kelvin Escobar, who was 5 0 career at Camden. Two score, so the O's are on the board. It's 5 2. Two batters later, Tony Batista, there's still two outs. And well, he's shopping at the gap. RBI double into left center, and that'll score Conine. So it's 5 3 Jays. No problem because there's still two outs. Next batter is BJ Surhoff. Has an 11 game hit streak going. Let's make it 12. Let's tie this game at five. Surhoff doubles to right center. Jay Gibbons and Batista score. And all of a sudden, this thing has gotten out of hand for the Blue Jays. Two batters later. And did we mention that there are two outs? Brooke Fordyce, he started this inning with a ground out. Well, he's doubling over the head of Reed Johnson. Two run score. Orioles score another. They went 8 5. They get eight runs on seven hits, all with two outs in the eighth inning. 8-5 Eight Baltimore coming back to win it. <laughs> Toronto and Baltimore. It was hot, Camden. 100 degrees. So it's one of these Orioles is going to be hotter. Will be Louis Matos. How about Melvin Mora? Leads the AL in batting at 350. Jeff Conine or Sidney Ponson. Well, bottom third, no score. Start the hot highlight. Matos with the single to right. He went three for four, so he was hot. Mora, the single to left. He went four for four with two RBI, so he was hotter. Next batter, Conine. Three run homer to left of Corey Lytle, his 11th. O's up three nothing. By day's end, Conine's career numbers against Lytle are going to read 11 for 16 with three homers and eight RBI because he did it again in the fourth. Lytle. Seven runs, ten hits, and three and two-thirds. Conine is hot, but what about Ponson? Eight innings, four Ks. His 11th win, O's win 9-2. His 11th win, one shy. Your American League All-Star starters. First baseman Carlos Delgado, 92 RBI. We're not even at the break yet. Orioles looking for their first four-game sweep of the Blue Jays since 1979. Top nine, Lord have mercy.
Eric Hensky done made his kin folks so proud. Pookie and them, Ray Ray, Nook, Nook and them, Lucretia Baby Daddy. The ball off of Luis Mentos' glove. Hensky had four home runs all year coming in. He hits two in this one game. Top 10, 3-3. Vernon Wells, broken back ground with a short. David Cruz fires. Wells called safe. Mike Hargrove argued halitosis. He got tossed. Watch again. It was a bad call. I mean, he was clearly out. Sunlight between his foot and the bag. Should have been the third out. Two batters later, Chris Woodward. Base knock right up the gap. Wells comes in to score from second. Blue Jays win 5-3 against the Red Sox. Since his last loss, April 15th, all right, the ERA isn't all that sexy, but look at the strikeouts to walk ratio and that one loss record. He'd get some run support early. Bottom of the first, scoreless Carlos Delgado face it to center. Shannon Stewart coming around to score. Delgado was thrown out trying to take the extra base. Either way, RBI 93 for Delgado. We're not even at the break. Top four, still one nothing. Halliday gets Trot Nixon. Top eight, runner on third, two outs, gets Nixon. Halliday, nine innings, six strikeouts. The big fat ND, no decision. We go to the tenth, tied at one, runner on first and two down. Johnny Damon down the right field line. A fan grabs it, ruled a ground rule double. Damian Jackson was the pinch runner, probably, probably would have scored, but he's forced to stay at third. Might have been a Red Sox fan. He was sitting next to one. Might have cost his team a run. After an intentional walk to load him up, Nixon lines out to center. Nixon went 0 for 6 in the game. Top 12, Damon on second, Jason Varitek. Base hit off Jeff Tam. Damon scores. The two Red Sox catchers with the offensive heroics. Doug Mirabelli had homered earlier in the game. Sox win in 12. All-star, first ever all-star gig for the Red Sox catcher. Awarded on the internet. Top eight, they're loaded, nobody out. Veritek to left center, ground rule double. You bet he's an all-star. Two for three, two RBI. Red Sox cut it to 7-6. They tied it 7-all on a sack fly. Still tied in the ninth, Manny. Watch Manny now. Does not exactly run the... Run, Manny! Hey. Blue Jays get all confused out there. And Manny again will stop around second. This should have easily been an inside the park home run. Instead, it's a stand-up triple because Manny spent most of the time watching the ball instead of running the bases. He tends to do that. Next batter, David Ortiz. Another big hit for this guy. Left center field gap. It's a double. Running hard all the way. Ramirez scores. 8-7 Boston. Bottom nine. Nobody out. Frank Catalano. Off BK Kim to right for a double. What a night for Catalano. Five for five. A homer. He drove in two. Hustling in there as Trot Nixon has issues in right field. Same inning, one out. Delgado up with the first base open. Howie Clark on deck. So what do you do? Do you pitch to him? Do you walk him? Do you pitch around him, Grady Little? He wants BKK. You know, we traded Shea Hillenbrand to get you. Pitch to Delgado. I don't care if he leads the major leagues in RBIs. Here's Delgado. One-two pitch. Fouls it off. Next pitch. Battling. 3-2 count. Delgado again fouls off the Kim pitch. Still 3-2. Gets him. Two outs, a huge strikeout. Delgado, though, three for five, knocked in his major league leading 94th run earlier in the game. After a hit batsman, Eric Hinsky is up, gets a called strike two. We flash back to Tuesday, Kim facing Hinsky. Kim strikes Hinsky out on a pitch on the outside corner to end the game. Hinsky was not happy. Let's get back to Wednesday. Kim, same pitch. That's definitely a strike, and it ends the game. Again, Hinsky not happy. Red Sox come back to win 8-7. Hinsky of Toronto, tough series he's had so far against Boston. Let's flash back all the way to Tuesday night. Young, young Kim striking out Hinsky looking on the outside corner. Hinsky not thrilled with that call. That was just the beginning because we flash back to Wednesday night. Kim striking out Hinsky again, looking outside corner, ending the game. Hinsky again disgusted. He took his anger out on the bat rack, of course. Let's move on. Back to Thursday night. Bottom one. Men on second and third, two out. Romero Mendoza looking to win his second straight start. Oh, gets Hinsky looking. Hinsky, guess what? He disagreed with the call. Arguing with the plate up. Field and cult rev. Take another look. Does this time Hinsky have a case? Maybe he should just swing at some of these. Maybe. Just a thought. Maybe. Speaking of swing and Bill Miller off of Corey Lytle. Miller four for four. Kevin Millar would score on that. We're tied at one. Top of the fourth. Two to one Red Sox when Miller does that against Lytle. 
Lytle on his way to losing his four straight start. Lytle allowed seven runs, nine hits, and five plus innings. The Red Sox lead the majors in batting average, runs, slugging percentage, on base percentage, and oh, by the way, they're two back of the Yanks. Derek Jeter returning to Sky Dome. Let's flash back. Opening day, who could forget? Jeter can't. Colliding with Ken Huckabee. Jeter dislocates his shoulder on the slide. There was controversy. Huckabee is in the minors at the moment. Bernie Williams, he's in the majors. Two for five. Through the hole on the hit and run. Jeter makes it to third. Jeter would score on Matsui double. Matsui had two hits. Jeter up the middle. Two runs would score. Derek Jeter, two for four. Two RBIs. He scored two. Wasden, an inning. Eight hits allowed. Five earned runs. His ERA, 45. Other than that, it was a great night. 5-2 Yanks, Vernon Wells on second, Carlos Delgado. Major League leading 95th RBI, he's hitting 313, went two for four, Wells scores. It's 5-3 Yankees, though. Andy Pettit working on his sixth straight win, by the way. 7-5 Yankees and Jason Giambi helping him get it. 24th home run of the year, Giambi was two for five, he had two RBI. Mariano Rivera pitched two innings of relief with a sprained ankle. The Yankees win. Clemens won the side that year. Holiday, a front runner this year. He's beaten the Yanks once since losing those first two. His ERA, two plus points higher against New York, and the Yankees batting 80 points higher than the rest of the field. Top third, Holiday. Facing Derek Jeter and telling Captain Jeter to take a whiff of that. Jeter k twice in this ballgame. Bottom four, runner on third, Reed Johnson with three ribbies on the day, meaning the score will not stay at two zip. That's what it is after Carlos Delgado scores. Top six, Jason Giambi. We're going to hit the meds for a flashback. Not too far back, however. First inning, Giambi, 12 for 31, career against Holiday, strikes out on the curve. Back to the sixth, and like a card dealer, it's hot, never change a winner. Curve, curve, ball, ball, curve, strike. Fourth pitch, curve, moon struck. Giambi, 25th, a two-run shot, and this ball game is tied. Bottom seven, still deuces, bases loaded. Frank Catalanata, 0 for 3 against Mike Musina, but he came in batting 452 career against the Moose, so the odds were with him. Base hit scores two, it's 4-2, and Musina, not happy. Top eight, Holiday. Gonna get Jeter again. New York's bullpen gave up six runs in the bottom of the eighth. Holiday and the Jays, they get the 10-3 win. Yankees, Blue Jays, neither team exactly steaming into the break. Jeff Weaver on thin ice in the Yanks rotation all year, four and seven, get some help early. One on in the first, Jason Giambi. That's an all-star home run, number 26 for Giambi. Yanks lead 2-0, Calvin Escobar out after an inning in the third, five earned. Carlos Delgado, there's another RBI for him. Frank Catalanado scores, that would be number 96. You would add number 97 in the ninth, more on that in a bit. Meanwhile, Weaver. Is mowing down Blue Jays. Bottom six, one out. Catalanato will not reach base on that. Next batter, Vernon Wells. No, that'll end this. That was up a little high. Ends the six. Bottom eight, one on, two out. Weaver strikes out Shannon Stewart. By far his best start in pinstripes. Catcher like that. If I call a fastball in, he was there. You know, and and if I call, you know, a fastball away, he was there. He wasn't really over the middle of the plate. He was on. Uh, probably the best I've ever seen him throw. Jorge Posada caught him for eight innings, four hits, one and run, seven Ks. Yanks win it, 6-2. Well, it didn't quite make it to the century mark, but Carlos Delgado racks up the third highest pre-break RBI total since the advent of the All-Star game, 97. That's a good total. Preston Wilson, the only other player with at least 90 ribs. He's only driven in 100 in a full season once. For the Toronto Blue Jays, outfielder Vernon Wells. And pitcher Roy Halladay. Batting third for the Toronto Blue Jays, first baseman, Carlos Delgado. Ichiro aboard, a strikeout of Soriano and now Delgado. Could put the American League on top. No chance for Pujols, 1-0 AL on a two-out RBI hit by Carlos Delgado. That's into left center field and it's a one-run game. Morris scores as Vernon Wells, the tying run, will cruise into second with a two-out RBI double. Twins 
Losers of 22 of 28 aren't giving up. Acquiring Shannon Stewart from Toronto, the Blue Jays will pick up the rest of his $6.2 million salary. Stewart hitting 294 with 47 runs scored as the Jays' leadoff hitter. He missed almost a month earlier this season with a strained hammy. Minnie also picks up a player to be named later in exchange for Bobby Kilty. Stewart likely will move over to right in Minnesota. Could allow Jacques Jones to move down to the Twins lineup to a more of an RBI spot when he returns from injury. The Twins tried to get him in 2001. They'll find out if he's worth the wait. The Halliday didn't throw a pitch during the All-Star game, so his arm is fresh. Man has won his last 13 decisions and lost his April 15th. Derek Lowe opposing him. He's won his last seven decisions. His last defeat came back on May 11th. But in the top four, one up in Toronto, Lowe's got himself in a jam. Bases are chucked. Gives to Orlando Hudson. Oh, look at him. He just he knew strike three walking back to the bench. Chris Woodward. All right, he got two of them. Maybe he's going to get out of this unscathed. Full count now to Reed Johnson. Payoff pitch coming. And Johnson makes him pay. Clears the bases. Start the merry-go-round. Two out double. Three runs score. Four nothing in favor of the Blue Jays. And Grady Little a little unhappy. Bottom four. Same score. Halliday facing Manny Ramirez. And that's your best. The basic 6-4-3. Manny went 0 for 4. That's not good for his pitcher. Halliday cruising now into the fifth. Kevin Millar. Oh, not fishing. He just looked at the hook. Five Ks for Halliday. Bottom seven, five nothing Jays. Ramirez again. Already told you he went 0 for 4. There he looks at strike three. Halliday would run into the trouble later in the inning, though. Five two Jays. A man on. Johnny Damon goes the opposite way. It is foul. Later in the bat, Damon. This time, that's between the white lines. But a can of corn. How a complete game, two earned runs. His 14th straight win. We'll just throw Sandy Koufax in there. Doc is chucking it. Halliday has won 14 games since he last lost April 15th, as we mentioned. Halliday tied for the third longest streak among AL pitchers over the last 30 seasons. Second to Roger Clemens in Blue Jays history. Rocket went on to win the Cy Young that same season. Four. Jays at Fenway, top of two, tied at one. Man off for Carlos Delgado. What's the old saying? Hit them where they ain't. Well, Delgado pretty much does it here. And the new Jay, Bobby Kilty, makes it two to one. Delgado leads the bigs with 98, runs batted in. Bottom three, Sox down two. Manny digs in, and he sends one deep to right. Reed Johnson says, you want me on that wall? You need me on that wall. Kelvin Escobar got the first Jays win by a starter other than Halliday in 21 games. Bottom eight's where we pick it up. Sox down 4-3. Runner on first. Trot Nixon attempting to bunt the runner over. Pops it up behind home plate, so there's one out. Next batter, Juan Acevedo against Bill Miller. See ya. Two outs. Next batter, Acevedo strikes out Jason Veritek to end the frame. Top of nine. 4-3 Toronto. Two outs. Todd Jones pulls out maybe the scouting report versus Reed Johnson. The old cheat sheet. Remember that, Neil, don't you, from school? John strikes out Johnson swinging. I got one it. right now. Three Ks and one and two thirds. Bottom nine. Still four three. Manny Ramirez up. Nomar is on first with two outs. Stealing second. Myers had to throw over a ducking Ramirez. Manny may have gotten away with interference. Same at bat. Manny going into right center. That plates Nomar. The steal pays off. Four four. The Sox had four stolen bags in this one. We go to extras. Bottom ten. Jeremy Giambi, ground ball to the right side. Orlando Hudson, nice stop, but look at the wheels on Giambi. Ruled a hit, next batter, Trot Nixon. Pitch runner Gabe Kapler steals second. Throw goes off his noggin. So Kapler moves to third, same at bat. Aquino Lopez pitching, and Nixon grounds one into the hole. Kapler scores. The Sox manufacturing runs and manufacturing a 5-4 win. God bless her. Bottom two, Mary Jo missed the first 15,935 games in franchise history, but saw this. Are you kidding me? Bobby Kilty just robs Trot Nixon with what may be the catch of the year. We got to peep it again. Kilty's only hitting 265, but so what? He was defense at the bullpen to balance himself. Trot Nixon can't believe it, but Trot says, yo, I got some Haterade drinking of my own. Rob's Orlando Hudson. Nixon hitting 318. Got a bat and a glove. Kisses the wall. Pedro appreciates some good defense. Bottom three, Blue Jays, Red Sox. No more. If you're running for office, no more would be a politician. 
16th home run of the year, three run shot after a three for 41 drought. No more. Now 10 for 20 his last five games. Top four, Pedro Martinez is about to get righteous. His last nine starts, he has five no decisions, but his ERA is a dental floss thin 1.29. He gave up singles to lead off three different innings, but no runner reached second base. Bottom four, Tanyan starts on the mound for the Jays. Manny Ramirez straight clocks him. 22nd homer of the year for Manny. 37th career homer against the Blue Jays. Both Sox win it. Mary Jo Ray sees the win, 9-4. Toronto at New York, Yankees have won their last six homers. Jason Giambi with five homers in his last seven games and 14 ribs for the Blue Jays. They make defensive moves for Giambi. Derek Jeter on the move, beats Tom Wilson's throw to second. Third baseman covering, so Jeter thinks about taking third. Then he had a flashback to opening day. As we remember what happened then, Jeter stealing second. Giambi at the plate, and then deciding to go to third. Jays catcher Ken Huckabee was covering third. Jeter was safe, but his shoulder was out. So was he. Back to reality, and the reality is that Jeff Weaver would get chased in the fifth. Vernon Wells setting a career high with his 24th homer, added another later. Weaver gives up five runs in four and a third. Mark Hendrickson called up from the minors Monday, wins an 8-0 rain-shortened game. Well, they missed the Yanks because of rain Tuesday. Good, only team that beat him since then. Well, 14 wins in a row, looking for his 15th consecutive decision. That would tie with Roger Clemens for second best in the last 30 years. Top first, Frank Thomas does not hit career home run number 400. He strikes out top five. Carlos Lee does hit his 17th of the year. Way deep. Sox go up 4-3. Halliday leaves, six innings pitch, seven hits, four, and runs three strikeouts. So his teammates going to have to pick him up, and Vernon Wells, he's lifting. A launch off Mark Burley, deep to center field. Wells, 26th home run of the year. Jays lead it 5-4. Top nine, Sox trailing 6-4. Juan Acevedo would leave after loading the bases. Dan Reichert's in. Megley Ordonez. Uh-oh. Down the left field line. We got a tie ball game. Robbie Alamore scores. Carlos Lee chugs home. 6-6. Next batter, Reichert. Whoa, trying to intentionally walk Carl Everett. And he does with gusto. Bases are full. Luckily, no one advanced beyond that point. Next batter, Paul Konerko. I think that was unintentional. He plucked him. Takes one for the team for the RBI. Go ahead, 7-6. Now bottom nine, one out, two on. Frank Catlin out of the pinch hitter. No, sir. 4-6-3 game ending double play. White Sox escape Canada with a 7-6 victory. Jai Sox and Jays, Kelvin Escobar, 1-8 and eight with an 8-41 career ERA against the Sox. Top one, Frank Thomas, I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. He's staring, and then same difference next time up. Two earned in seven innings for Escobar, and then, well, it's raining. We've got a rain delay at Sky Dome. They have a retractable roof. Apparently, they weren't prepared for this sort of thing. What, no Doppler 3000 in Canada, I guess. Top 13 in a 2-2 game. The Big Hurt makes big amends, scoring Carlos Lee to make it 3-2 Sox. Bottom of the inning, it's 4-2. Vernon Wells, and all's Wells that ends Wells for Vern. 27th of the year, is only hitting five at bats. It is suddenly a 4-3 contest. Next batter, Carlos Delgado, and Rick White gets him. The shift on, and it works. 4-3 Sox, their seventh consecutive victory. Jason Johnson, one and seven career against the Jays. One reason maybe he's not listening to his catcher. Brooke Fordyce sets up low and away, and Johnson goes right down the middle. Carlos Delgado right out of the park. First homer in 18 games, 29th of the season. RBI's 100, 101, and 102. He'd add 103 later. Jays up a three spot. Orioles tie it at three, bottom seven. Jays will untie it on an Oriole air. Vernon Wells pop up, caught by Louis Matos. He needs a compass. Bad throw home, pinch runner Reed Johnson who stole second and took third on a wild pitch, scores the go-ahead run, Jays go ahead and win it, 5-3, much to Grover's chagrin, earmuffs. Table setter, began the game just one for five in his previous at-bats against Mark Hendrickson, but top of the fifth with the O's leading 3-2, single to left, so Robert doing his job by reaching base. Stole second, and then Luis Matos at the plate. His error Friday cost the O's a big run. Hard liner, Roberts, manufactured a run. O's go up 4-2. Top seven, Roberts again. Knock it into the gap in the right center, and he must have been wearing his PF flyers because he made it all the way to third base. Stand up triple. Next batter, Matos. Shallow fly ball to right. He's going to really need to have the... The fast shoes on here. Bobby Keelty with the throw. Roberts manufactures another run. Conine and Mora manufacture homers. 7-2-0.
Orioles Blue Jays Roy Halladay no decision in his last start so his 14 game win streak still intact trying for the 15th last guy to do that hmm, 1998 Roger Clemens strikes out 15 Orioles as a matter of fact in route to that 15th consecutive win and he was a Blue Jay and he won the Cy Young that year that's, that's a very good precedent Ryan Roberts strikes out Halladay gets Melvin Moore who's hitting 329 coming in bottom four Jays up one nothing Carlos Delgado facing Rodrigo Lopez and get it Delgado solo home run is 30th seven straight seasons now with at least 30 home runs still bottom four five nothing Jays Vernon Wells gonna take a shot at Lopez and O'Vern here gonna stay in the park for a double he would also homer that would be his 28th Orlando Hudson Mike Bordick both score Blue Jays a seven nothing cushion Al Day can work with that for sure, especially when it's now 10 0 more over four and three K's. Al Day ties Clemens' team record for consecutive wins with 15, allowed just two hits in seven innings and one J. Rays and Jays. Now, Carlos still got to the Blue Jays making $18.7 million a year. Of course, he had 30 home runs so far. He's worth it, I guess. Tempe Devil Rays is a team 19.6, but they have more home runs. Al Levine to Greg Myers. That's a shot. His 12th, 7 6 Blue Jays. Top nine, still 7 6. Bases Chuck for Rocco Bell. Deli against Scott Service. Oh, yeah. Room service. I want to thank his parents for the Dell's lemonade, by the way. We all enjoyed it. Does that count there? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Scores two runs, 8 7 Devil Rays. That's, that's a Rhode Island product. It's a Rhode Island thing. Dell's frozen lemonade. Bottom nine, 9 7, and Carlos Delgado, a man sized home run into some sort of eating establishment there at the Sky Dome. 9-8 Devil Rays. Oh, but Lance Carter settles down. Gets Myers, gets Bobby Kilty, and then Carter one more time. That's all-star stuff. Gets Tom Wilson. Devil Rays. Hang on to win this by a count of 9-8. They will all get lemonade, too. Back-to-back-to-back to back to back road wins for the first time in nearly a year. We're looking back at Tuesday when Carlos Delgado crushed his AL leading 31st homer off Lance Carter. Still, T-Bay held on for a one-run win. That was Carter running into the mound. And Thursday, it's a one-run game. Bottom nine with a man on. Delgado now tries to pull the outside pitch. Eric Hinsky moves to second. Bobby Kielty's turn. Carter turns him over and out. 7-6 raise, but Lou will not color his.